so in Japan, that was a little different than Italy because we were filming a few segments with you that we already mentioned. Um, the Kaiseki meal. Uh, we went to the Toto toilet showroom and then um, surprised some fans. But w- you were not in every segment. So what were you doing during your downtime? I, I felt uh, burdensome being on that trip. I, really? Uh, yes. Yeah. I was very self-conscious that because those are sm- you guys have small crews. Mm-hmm. You, and, and by design, that enables you to move around. There are fewer people to transport, fewer people to house. And I felt, because I was only in a few of the segments, and arguably I didn't even need to be in all of those segments. I guess the Kaiseki one would be the, the critical one. But, you know, the segment with that married couple would have happened whether I was in it or not. Uh, but did you come you with guys. us in the other shoots? I forgot. Yeah. I did. You, you did. were with us very Oh, you did. Uh, I did. Uh, I, I didn't go with you guys when you flew to you flew up north. To, oh, you missed to out. The, to yeah. Conan yeah. Town. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't go to that one. But smart, I went to smart the, move. I went to the mm-hmm. one in Tokyo. Um, and I felt uh, like a burden. But no. um, but you were no. also there. I th- I mean, I think Conan likes you being we had around. Fun. We had fun yeah. times and off camera. You yes. could help uh, find restaurants and we, we yeah, you take helped. him yeah. out to yeah. sushi dinners. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, there were a couple of dinners that we had yeah. with Conan. I was the mm-hmm. sushi taster. Yes. Right. Uh, we went, you guys, you were, you two were there. Yeah, I was there. We went to a dinner at the Mandarin Oriental Sushi right. Bar, which I had been to previously. And, um, was it the, like, in the penthouse? There. It was beautiful Co- at the very top of... Here's the thing about Conan. He's like, uh, he's portrayed as a sophisticate. Okay. Mm-hmm. He's like. By who? A, a, of a certain <laughs> stature. He has an edu- you know, a mm. formal education. Sure. He's got a reputation in the comedy You're reading world. a lot into his Harvard education. I'm yes. saying people think, people think he's, you know, a high class. I've gone in him. We've done um, Dartmouth College. We went to and did an event. Mm-hmm. He's like respected by academics. Yeah. Okay. Right. But there's another side to him, which um, I don't think people know about. And uh, Conan uh, is, I'll just say, selective he's a, he's with garbage what he monster. eats uh, sometimes. He and eats not garbage. necessarily for health reasons. You know, in the same way a child may not like uh, onions, he has some... Um, Preferences, dietary preferences. So when he we lo- were only eats pizza. When we well, he, he <laughs> certainly loves uh, pizza. Um, but Hamburgers. when we were, yeah, those are safe foods for him. But you know, the thing is, when you go to a really nice sushi dinner in Japan, it's almost always omakase, where you don't choose what you get. The chef gives you mm-hmm. uh, course after What's course, fresh. and you would certainly not want to insult the chef by not eating something, because right. as you may know, Japan values honor above p- potentially above all else, and. Uh, we, the chef would put down a piece of sushi in front of all of us, and I would. He would. The arrangement was: I was sitting next to Conan. You guys would just eat happily what was ever put in front of you. I would <laughs> taste mine. Uh-huh. He would look at me. Mm-hmm. I would give him a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and I wasn't rating the quality of the food. I was rating whether he would he like would it. it. And how do you know guy, if he would eat it? Yeah, well, if it's, I'll tell you why. If it tastes <laughs> like t- fish no, or not, I'll tell you why. Because he <laughs> said um, when we were talking about going to dinner, he said. Hey, maybe we can go to a dinner, maybe some place that has like a salmon sushi. Uh huh. And I'm like, th- that's like a sugarfish order. Like, I bet yeah. you this guy orders from Sugarfish, which was near his house, uh-huh. and he gets the salmon sushi, and that's like his safe thing uh-huh. that he likes. The fact that he deliberately said salmon sushi tells me that he's very selective about his sushi. And then I kind of guess I had the conversation with him. Uh, like when eel would come, mm-hmm. I would uh, give that the thumbs down. I loved the eel, but I knew that he wouldn't. Texture. So then I yeah. had to, yeah, that's the thing. So I had to eat whatever and he rejected. So the chef would not be offended. So, and I know Mikasa dinners are already quite filling. I don't eat so much. I believe in small portions spread out frequently throughout the day. I don't eat too much in one sitting. I remember sitting. this meal not being enough food. Uh, Wait, so did you eat Conan? So I, w- I would eat the ones that he wouldn't want. So yeah, so I ate, I ate a lot because, uh, so yeah. He, he's, he's was there a salmon eventually? Meals. Was there eventually a salmon? I don't know that there was a maybe there Could was. Could we a have salmon? just ordered him like a teriyaki bowl? That no, he would have. That's liked that's that. That's against the whole theory of an okay. omakase dinner. Um, so yes, I see a different side of Conan. That, that, now that's something you would do for a child. Yeah, I'm not saying only for a child. I don't mean to offend the man that's not even here, but I'm saying let's be honest. If you had a child and you went to a Nakase dinner, you you might taste it and say you wouldn't like this one, or you know, go uh, ahead. Um, I wouldn't take a child to an omakase. No. Dinner. Have you done that? Do you take your children to omakase? I uh, no, I, I uh, I'm just using that as a reference for, okay. for his particular brand of pickiness. Yes. You know, I I know what he likes to mm-hmm. eat, and they're very like they're typically very safe foods: bacon. Uh, <laughs> potatoes, like uh-huh. you know, meat and potatoes type. Mm-hmm. 
salmon wrapped in bacon. <laughs> You're like the the king's uh, food taster. I, I didn't I get, realize I, that. I guess that, you yeah. literally know his palate and whether to give a thumbs up or down. I recommend it one of the time. I don't know. I don't remember the chronology of that trip, but somehow Conan and I were on our own for lunch, just the two of us mm. underneath our hotel. I think there was a concourse with yes. restaurants, right. and, right. and oh. I I'm, and and he said I need something to eat. I had just eaten. I think I just met up with him in the lobby uh, unexpectedly, and he said I need something to eat. And I'm thinking, like, what would he like in Japan? And then I came up with the perfect thing, absolutely perfect for him, tonkatsu, tonkatsu fried yeah. pork. Mm-hmm. And um, and we went. There was one of the best places was right in the concourse. Yeah. And, uh, and he I like took it? He loved it. Oh, good. And, and, uh, yeah. And I, I had to eat again. I had just eaten. <laughs> but I I guess for whatever reason, I felt obligated to eat with him. So that was another situation. But, yeah, fried pork is perfect for him. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Even even more so even more so than salmon sushi. Yeah. Like, I think he's found his new go-to uh-huh. meal in Japan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's good that Sport you comments. shared your uh, radio time with Jason. I was going to say, I'm glad these beers are here. Because <laughs> you're, 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 you. I'm, I'm answering the question. No, I appreciate, it. I appreciate it. I, I, I assume we're, this was, I was booked for two hours. You guys are talking two about like, wrapping up. <laughs> <laughs> My appointment calendar is two hours. I, you could, you're like, we're wrapping up already. We it's been like it's been commute. like 23 minutes. I, I assume no. Cholam is no, going to have ample time. It's I couldn't minute. believe we moved on to Japan so quickly. Yeah, we like, <laughs> barely scratched the surface of Italy. Jason. I have nothing else to add. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> We talked a little bit about the Toto Toilet Showroom. I uh, This was my first experience with uh, Toto Toilets. I now have one at home. Um, do you, oh, you do? Yeah, I do. Oh, that's nice. Do you have one at home, Jordan? No, I don't. Okay. You have the actual toilet or just like, what, what's the thing called? Tushy? Is there something? I have, well, I, it's a Toto toilet with the um, with the bidet attachment, okay. yeah. Oh. But it ain't hot and cold or? No, no, no. It's a more basic it's version. Yeah, yeah, you're happy. I would love one. <laughs> <laughs> they were impressive. Uh, oh my god! There was one in our hotel. Oh, no, the ones was, in the hotel. The I mean, it and would it open when you walked. My friend. You yeah. walked in the door, and right. it would open, and yes. then it would sing, a, sing you a little song. Oh, it was the best. And did it have a yeah. face? Am I misremembering? My, if I was, I drinking, felt like it, it was smiling at me. Oh. <laughs> there was also a PR issue with them. Yes. Um, at, I remember at one point I was instructed to sit on a toilet. Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, the toilet was made to spray. Right. I was wearing pants. Oh, right. Um, right. So my pants were soiled. <laughs> uh, well, oh, wait a second. Well, they were, they were wet. Not with well, shit. There's, no, there's a... No. Who, yeah. Why, why would you go there? Not, you, not you. When you say you're... <laughs> You're trying to make I, it I mean, out of all the types you of soil that exist, you mentioned the soil before, right. and you describe I, that as plenty of time. Doesn't mean any time you hear soil. <laughs> you see like a human soil. soil. There we go. Here it is. I'm not. No, I'm not crazy. When someone says they soiled their pants, that's that means quite they a shit presumption. Their pants. I didn't yeah. say yeah. I soiled yeah. my pants. I said my pants you were soiled. Oh, so I guess that might be a way to. I guess that might be a way to say that you soiled your pants. It's kind of you know. What you I'm could have had is, potting soil on your pants. No, this was this was water. Uh, my pants were soiled with water. Okay, so there was like a water stain. Your pants were it wet. Felt, yes, my fan, my pants were wet. Wait, so uh, why were they mad? I forgot. Well, the problem is they are a dignified, honorable company, okay. yes. right. and they don't want to show somebody making fun of their spray by sitting on a, a toilet uh, with pants Close. on and having the spray. They just felt it was juvenile. <laughs> I don't disagree. And the point is, my pants were soiled with water. <laughs> and uh, and I was wearing You're those so pants. So loud, Jordan. I, I was wearing those pants for the remainder of the shoot. And the evening, I was sitting in the van with soiled with water that was pants. La- that was the last shoot pants. of the day. That was the wet, last thing we did. Nevertheless, yeah. when you have wet pants in that, mm-hmm. this is not my knees. Yeah. This is like wet. Your, this the is the entire yeah. buttocks yeah. and uh, probably buttock region. Probably the entire region front and yeah. back yeah. was wet right. was wet yeah. and uh we weren't even allowed to use that in the final e- edit oh. no we weren't so i felt oh. like i was i was wet for, for not uh. soiled for no reason sorry yes oh the, uh. yes so that was an objection that they had yes it got no, a they... little there was a little tension i remember our yes, there was later going yes, back and yes, forth yes. with him about and then they kind of mm. laid down we had to rules. quickly leave <laughs> we we did Scuttle out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But in the end, like, uh, I don't think we portrayed them in a negative light at all. No. In fact, it's quite the opposite. And we'll say yes. flat out, they're like probably the best made toilets. My plumber oh, yeah. here has recommended yes. those toilets. And, um, of course. Oh, my yeah, God. The, their innovation the is. The gold standard. Yeah. yeah. We were the idiots. We're always the idiots. Yeah.